Okay. <laughs> so if you saw my video with the house door, um, and if you haven't seen that video, don't watch it. <laughs> it's not very good. But if you saw that video, I mentioned that I don't like this room. We're in the sewing room. And as you can tell from the title, we are going to give this room a makeover. Uh, I've been obviously wanting to do this basically since we moved in. Um, a lot of the stuff in here, like I have folding tables, uh, not ideal to work on, especially with my sewing machine. It'll make it like jump and... Yeah, I'm ready to have furniture that A, looks nice, and is B, more functional. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So first, let me go ahead and show you around the room and show you what we will be changing and what I don't like about it and all that jazz. So first off, this is my resin station where I make necklaces at. This is this batch that's currently on here is going to be the last batch that I'm making. I get really bad rashes from it, so everything on this table is going. I'm gonna take down all these pictures. I don't think it really kind of goes with the look. These are, this is all art that I've done in the past. And then this is, right now, is kind of my shipping station and also kind of a catch-all. I end up piling up papers here. That crate is not very functional and I don't really like it. And then over here, this box I have stuff that I'm trying to sell on Depop, plus other cardboard and other shit. I keep most of my supplies in here. So I got zippers and other hardware and buckles and all that. And it's really just not ideal. It's not separated. This plastic drawer thing is junk. Same with this plastic drawer thing, which I didn't mention, but the top drawer is just like office pens, paper, pens and stuff. And then I just have a lot of miscellaneous crap, a lot of art supplies in here. Like, in here, so much freaking junk. I could just have a lot of batteries, and it's it's just a mess. It's really, this thing is awful. I hate it. <laughs> it's ugly. So that I'm going to get rid of. This chair is very ugly, and it's served its purpose. I've used that for probably about, like, six years now, and I need an upgrade. And this is really, like, my sewing station and cutting station. It's not the best use of space. Up here, I have like some supplies, all the strapping, and then I keep my patterns. Again, very ugly, disorganized. Doesn't really make sense when I sew over here to have all my stuff over here. So we're So 
so the three walls that I was painting, the white Swiss coffee, are done. Finally, two coats later. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so that part's done. And then this wall right behind me, as you can tell, well, maybe you can tell, it's still the gray color. That one I will paint next. But first I'm going to take off the tape on that wall and then I'm going to get ready. Well, I'll take a shower. And then I gotta go run to the hardware store and get some things, more paint and such, and work on the next step. So I'm on to the next project. Uh, since I finished painting, I did go out and get some supplies like the spray paint to work on this other project. I have this filing cabinet and this little drawer thing. So this will be like, an, I'll use this as a little organizer for my hardware and stuff. And then I got this spray paint. It's kind of like an orangey yellow color. So yeah, that's this next step. So. We'll just go ahead and put each of these in here. <laughs> Have a nice soak. to tackle this wall. <laughs> Here is the color review. Oh, I need to stir it because it's not that color. Let me get a stir so you guys can see. Surprise, it's the leftover paint from my living room. So I'm going to paint it to this very light, creamy orange color. It looks like on the screen, it looks very yellow, but in person, it reads very orange to me, like very sherbet color. But I will stir this up, and that is what's going on that wall. Some measuring with my husband, what I've come up with, these 
chicken scratch is the stripes on the wall are going to be 18 inches wide. The spaces between them will be 10.5. And then that, because this wall is eight feet by 10 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that out, make sure they're level. And then once I draw that out, taping the lines, then I will worry about the circular part. So that's what we're doing. Also, if you're wondering where all this stuff in the room went, some of it's right here, some of it's over there, some of it's over here, and some of it's in the garage and in the bedroom. All right, so the brunt of the labor is done, ah, the brunt of the work is done now that we got the painting done. And now we get to bring in the furniture, put together the furniture, so we'll get at it. Step is curtains. These are from Society Six.
already. <sighs> it's This project's taking me way longer than I expected, but I feel like I'm getting close. I, as you can see, I've started putting the, more stuff on away and on the shelves and I've had to go through a lot of stuff and I didn't really film a lot of it because it's just really tedious. I had to throw away a lot of literal garbage that I'm holding, I was holding on to. Um, but it feels good to purge things that I've been hoarding for like almost 10 years now. Well, there's still a few things left I gotta do. Um, I do need to go to the store to get some more organizational stuff, some drawer dividers, and some more hanging file folders so I can put the rest of my papers into the file cabinet, which you can't see, <laughs> um, which I did finish that, and tackle what's you can't see because it's kind of um, it's over here but yeah I will show you the next project we'll be working on before I go to the store <laughs> and this is the next project we'll be working on so over here obviously it looks pretty nice in here this is not working um, so all of these boxes are the swimsuits so those are gonna go on the calyx shelf that we set up the other day uh, or as many as I can fit on there. And then I need to go through this stuff, Christmas bags and birthday bags and things like gift bags that I've been hoarding and other <laughs> like Sephora bags and stuff. So I need to purge some of this stuff. This is just an empty box. Uh, yeah, I gotta clear some of this stuff out because all of this stuff down here needs to move into the closet. So that is the game plan. the trash pile which it is a lot of like Sephora bags and just other bags from gifts I've gotten or have purchased and I save like everything but I'm gonna purge at least these ones and they're all trash this will be the stuff that I keep bags and then tissue paper yeah that will be much better. I'll fit everything in this box, even if I have to fold it up. update here's the bottom half and I'll show you up higher but so much better and there's the top <laughs> it's been another day uh, this weekend project has taken me an entire week well almost tomorrow it would have been a week so pretty close <laughs> but we're drawing to close I went to Target last night and got a few like bins and I also stole some other bins from around the house to use in here as well. And now it's to the very final part, probably the best, most favorite part. So I'm going to show you some of the small little touches that I have. Um, one is this cool vintage velvet chair. I got this at an auction. So I have this little frog piggy bank. I don't know if you can see that so well. But and I got this lamp off of eBay. I got this cactus antenna guy. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but he'll go somewhere in here, I suppose. And I got this little divider thing. So I'll put some pens and um, scissors and stuff in this and I'll put papers in this uh, whenever I get them if I haven't had a chance to file them away. I got, <laughs> let me get in close for you guys so you can see it these little frogs. Uh, she's got a beer and he's got a cigarette in there and a 
their bathing suits. <laughs> um, I picked this up from an estate sale. I was going to sell it and I just, uh, I couldn't, I had to keep it. So <laughs> I'll put up, find a little spot for these guys. And if you watch my estate sale flips video, I still have that trash, this little trash can. So I'm going to start using this. This room would not be complete without a lava lamp. So I got this guy from Home Depot for 20 bucks. Uh, I would have loved to find a vintage one, but they are more than that. So let's put these touches together and bring in my, there we had to be in here, my mannequin and this room will be complete. Got all my office supplies in here, all that, pencils and erasers. Got more office supplies, stapler, all that kind of stuff, batteries. I put all of my 3GN swim packing supplies in here. And I got paint in this one. And miscellaneous craft supplies. This is definitely not the most organized, but better than it was. And then on this side, we got my sewing supplies, which I still need to get a thing, put all my bobbins in. But this looks pretty good to me. We got, I need to get more bins for down here, but this is what I have right now. All of my hardware that's too big to fit in the orange drawers. Got zippers, more zippers. <laughs> And I got my buckles down here. I decided to put all of my scrap fabric in a drawer right here. Some grommet tape, miscellaneous displays for whenever I bend, and then foam. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And then all of my rulers right here to the side to hang up. This will be my cutting station, which will be great because this table can fold down by moving this leg so that it'll just fold down to like that whenever I have people stay the night which sometimes my sister comes and visits so this will be great. I put my bag of scraps this will become a dog bed whenever this is foolish and then of course the lava lamp Whoa, it's so pretty and all of the or most of the swimsuits. The filing cabinet, this is how it turned out. <laughs> it was a little drippy and I did a very bad job filling in the spots here, but I think it turned out pretty cute. And then I painted this uh, Starbucks can, uh, Starbucks hot chocolate can that I had. You can kind of see the Starbucks logo right there. Put some flowers very sloppily. I did not do a very good job. I was getting kind of lazy at the end, but I think it looks cute. 
And then I painted this orange. You might have saw it white earlier, but it, I just didn't like it. So I colored that in and that's where all of my uh, mailers live. These are all packaging supplies for third generation nation. There's Derby. Hi Derby. My fabric over here and more miscellaneous fabric I don't really use down there, but keep around in case I do. But my scissors are in here for when I cut fabric. And then I put my patterns right here, which they don't really fit, but I just kind of force those in here. That's fine, I guess. All right, so that's the room. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. It's taken forever, it's not perfect, but you know, I think I did a good job for what I had to work with and for what I needed this room to function as. And I hope you all liked it. Let me know if there's anything you change or if you liked it or not. But yeah, thanks for watching. Mm. Bye.